Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, a happy Monday to you and wanted to mention about the storms last night because these things were quite powerful. This was the line of storms that came through just uh, about a little after uh, just a little after 1130 uh, last night and swept through the area. Notice how the line had a bow shaped echo to it. When we start seeing that, that generally means the winds are are rushing into the storm and causing the storms to bow out within the squall line. But notice this little area right up in here in the line. Notice how it has a little spin to it. That is called a mesoscale convective vortex. And uh, basically what this is, is it's basically a localized area of low pressure that basically develops within a squall line and uh, around this low the winds spin around the low pressure now of course low pressure spins counterclock uh, low pressure spins clockwise so the winds spin around that area of low pressure and uh, these things are very localized generally these uh, mesoscale convective vortices are generally between 30 to 60 miles in width so very localized and damaging winds often accompany these things and that is part of the reason why we had those strong winds and there was some reports of damage last night with those thunderstorms and that's part of the reason why it was enhanced because we had that little vortice that helped to enhance the winds but we might not be done with the severe weather yet storm prediction center has placed the westernmost part of the region under a low end marginal risk. That's a level one on a scale of one to five, the darker green. And then we have that standard slight risk, that yellow shade from basically uh, uh, Cat County further out to the east. And the main and there's also a marginal risk in place for the region on Tuesday. And uh, so for tonight, the main uh, impacts with these storms is really going to be strong winds, could be a touch of small hail, and maybe some uh, low-lying flooding could be possible. We saw some ponding water on roadways last night, so that could also be another threat uh, through the uh, evening and overnight hours. Let's take you through the newest run of future scan. It does paint us mostly dry through the afternoon hours. Now, there will be some showers and thunderstorms through at least the later part of the afternoon into the evening hours. But this is really going to be what we're going to be watching. Now, this particular model really isn't being too aggressive with the overall severity of these. But again, any one of these little showers and storms could be strong to severe. And the main threat is going to be strong damaging wind gusts, same as last night. Now, tomorrow, we should be mainly dry, but a few scattered showers will be possible. But as we go into Wednesday, we'll see a better chance of the coverage of showers and thunderstorms as another front arrives. Notice it turns more widespread as we go into Wednesday morning. This model can only go out so far, but the rain showers and thunderstorms will continue through at least the day on Wednesday. 71 to 77 today, mostly cloudy. Sun peaks with scattered showers and thunderstorms arriving to the afternoon. 58 to 64, mild and muggy with showers and thunderstorms. Some strong early with a light and variable wind. Let's take a look at that seven day and you'll see tomorrow we're up to 80. Warm showers, maybe a few thunderstorms possible. Humid as well. We start Wednesday around 64 here in the city. Only around 72 on Wednesday. That's ahead of the cold front. It does bring in some brief refreshing air as we go into Thursday, but it gets replaced once again by more mild and muggy air. A few showers possible on Friday, then the weekend looking mainly dry, but warm and muggy.